so that the floor is open for questions. Ma'am, we have started the live. We can start the class whenever you are ready. Yeah. Uh, can you send a chat now? Mr. Evans, yeah, it is still not. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. YouTube chat is still not working. I tried subscribing to the channel also. Bindu has sent messages twice. You you did not receive anything, right? No, ma'am. I didn't receive any messages from her. Just now, Kanan sir called. Can you talk to him once? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Ramakrishnan, sir, we have with us Professor Indumati from IIT Madras, who is the solid waste coordinator for Runat Bharat Abhiyan program. Okay, very nice. Good evening, madam. I think Professor is muted. Okay, no problem. One uh, Mr. Good evening, Mr. Sir. Can you hear me? Oh, ma'am, yes, one ma second, ma'am. Yes. Sir, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Evans, why is there, I mean, there is a lag in repetition, it seems. Um, so should I go and sit in another room so that... Uh, Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Maybe the Wi-Fi is too low to your connection. Because Zoom, whatever. Ma'am, YouTube and Zoom is separate, ma'am. It will it'll have 30 to 40 seconds lag in it. So I'm hearing both of them together, right? Ah, yes, ma'am. It has 40 seconds. One second. Ma'am, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, you can talk to, to Ms. Ramakrishnan, sir, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Can you hear yes. me? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma we can talk. We can yes, hear Professor. You. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you for coming today and sharing your valuable experience. Sure, sure. Uh, trying to cause all this technical problem. Hopefully no problem. No problem. No problem. Yeah. I'm, I'm a product of Gindi Engineering, opposite to you. Oh. So I used to. I'm also take, from there. <laughs> I am it's 74 batch. 74 batch. Okay. Mechanical. Civil Engineering, sir. Mechanical. No, mechanical. Okay. Then I did a industrial engineering post graduation. That time I used to be in IIT Madras. Ah, okay. Then I, I took a lot of classes in computer science. 
Okay. So, so you are very professional. Yeah, I love uh, IIT Madras. Ah, maybe you should come in person sometime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You reduce the temperature in Chennai. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not now. Bangalore is seven. <laughs> ah, correct, correct. So, in 87, I moved from Chennai to Bangalore uh -huh. and settled here. Settled here and my mother still lives in Mailapo. Okay, okay. Nice. So, So the are the Delhi people joining um, Bindu from UBA? Yes, ma'am. All the RCA's uh, coordinators and staff they will be joining in the, through the YouTube link. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just give us a few more minutes, sir. I think. Uh, no problem. No problem. Kanan will resolve it in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ma'am, I think we can. We'll start off the meeting. That that problem they might. Please check with Karnan uh, Sudha. Sudha yes, is following up, ma'am. Uh, meanwhile, we'll get uh, started and she'll rectify it sooner. Okay. Uh, welcome to all of you from uh, Unad Bharat Abhiyan program, IIT Madras. And welcome to the webinar on lifestyle for environment, uh, living Udan, an activity of C20 G20. Uh, today we have with us Sri N. Ramakrishnan, a postgraduate in mechanical engineering who worked in reputed companies like BHEL, CMC, Sonata, and Indus USA as a, an IT pro professional. After his retirement, he engrossed into social work, waste management, gardening, and got engaged in creating awareness about the scene. He has uh, conducted awareness campaigns in over 350 educational institutions, exhibitions, and companies. He has also started various groups for spreading uh, better waste management practices. He is currently president of OBWA OA for 50 luxury apartments. Uh, I would like to now welcome Sri N. Ramakrishnan to share his uh, real-time experiences with all of us here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Bindu. Thank you, Sudha. Thank you, Professor Indamadi. Thank you, Mr. Karnan, for uh, helping me to set up this uh, connection so that I could reach more people. In fact, um, the last two years, because of COVID, we would have done over about 100 uh, Zoom sessions or Google Talk, and uh, that's the best way we can get connected to people throughout India. And even we had a session in Dubai about a year back on this waste management and gardening and so on. So the, the current topic now is uh, global warming and uh, people are trying all their best to c control pollution, to control uh, carbon emission, then to improve the greenery. For example, you find a lot of people planting trees and um, those initiatives is taken right from school level. So let me, I have shared the screen and uh, let me go with the first slide. See, I moved to Bangalore around 19, I think, no. In fact, I came to Bangalore in 1962 and my sister got married. And uh, I have shown this slide. You can see the greenery in Bangalore in 1973 and how gradually that greenery went off. And then, you no, know, you can see a lot of red in 1992 or the 1993. And you see the last uh, picture I have is 2006, where almost 
it's 50% uh, of the land occupied by concrete jungle. So the in this uh, map, the red color is built up and uh, green color is vegetation and blue color is water bodies and yellow color is others, okay? So you find that gradually the vegetation has reduced, red has increased and water bodies has come down. In fact, um, around 1987, I got transferred from Chennai to Bangalore and uh, I was a consultant to a place called uh, Bangalore Development Authority. That time there were about 140 lakes and now today I see only 49 lakes. Imagine you find that all those lake, area, lake areas where uh, they dried because of the global warming and uh, sun and uh, they all filled up soil, mud and so on. And you find a lot of apartments coming there. So what this resulted is reduced greenery. There is a big shortage for uh, vegetables, fresh vegetables. People got into more into uh, putting pesticides and chemicals. And then um, uh, if you want to get good vegetables and all, most of them are coming from Tamil Nadu and then they are sold in Bangalore. Okay, that is the state of Bangalore. And um, so what I wanted to highlight in this slide is the greenery has gone and uh, if this continues, it is going to be a big problem. So with this, in fact, I retired in 19, and sorry, 2012. And then you know, I took up this uh, gardening, but I used to love gardening. And uh, in uh, when I used to stay in Chennai and I used to sell drumstick at Pai Paise and uh, Every we have a big house which is about 6,000 square foot, and every uh, uh, production I, try, I used to sell them and then make some money. So, so the objective. So the I started with a group of about uh, about 20 people with about five six doctors who were very keen on health education and a few engineers and then a few government officials, including politicians. So we came out with a couple of groups. And the objective was to introduce gardening to people. And uh, Bangalore used to produce about 6,000 uh, tons of waste, which is con consist of, uh, we call it as uh, wet waste, and then dry waste, and medical waste, and then e-waste. Okay. So this became a big problem. So what they have, what, and that about, very close to about 60%, uh, 4,000 tons were all uh, vegetable waste. And they used to move them all to remote places of Bangalore and dump them into some small villages where there are very few people. So this resulted, you find that a lot of garbage getting dumped in nearby villages and pollution increased in that day. People started getting health problems near that village. So a couple of, uh, there's a place called Maveli Pura and then there's a place called Mandur. I visited all those places, saw the pathetic condition of the uh, Indians living there and uh, the water used to uh, pass through that uh, garbage and then that water goes to a small lake and uh, people used to drink that water. So I felt all these things are too bad and uh, so the objective of our group was to talk about waste segregation and then composting so that we can make use of the compost in our garden. So as I told you in the beginning, the Greenery is going down and uh, the travel by car to Chennai to Bangalore, it will be so nice. And uh, you'll see a lot of greenery, trees on the both sides, particularly near that uh, Jolar Pet, all those. You will find a lot of trees those days. So we used to drive down in 1962 and 1970 and so on. Then gradually, the trees were all cut and the roads got widened and then every small towns got developed into a big town and so on. So tree planting in the backyard. So if you have a small place, even you can have a small tree. And then we started uh, developing tree planting in the community and then school and urban areas. So what uh, our job is, if we are able to get some small uh, sapling of a tree, like even simple, like neem tree, we used to collect a lot of, um, uh, what is that, uh, neem seeds and then put in a simple coconut shell and I used to tell the people, now, whenever you go in the car, take them and please plant them in the uh, remote places. So that one day, you know, they'll all, with the rain, they will all grow very well. And with the sunlight, they will grow very well and no need for any maintenance and so on. 
<laughs> now you find that everywhere now the about what is called as bisleri borders are used it is very easy to every shop is selling that uh, maybe half liter can or 250 ml can and this plastic bottle became uh, very high and uh, the usage particularly in marriages and parties and then even in meetings because they don't want to go back to the old tradition of uh, using a stainless steel and then pouring water from a jug so i started this anti plastic campaign and uh, the next one is what is called a street adoption to spread awareness we started going along with the my team door to door and started meeting people with uh, uh, tell them about the importance of the uh, the waste waste segregation and i used to tell them so many other value additions so that you now they don't uh, they strictly follow all that so this is called a street adoption so i used to take care of my seventh cross all the houses there and then now now i have moved to a place called uh, what is that uh, obw one bangalore west apartment owners association i am the current president here there are about 800 apartments and in my right now about 500 apartments are occupied and my job is to tell the people please segregate waste do not use plastic and do not litter any waste on the road or the Uh, playground or the community halls and so on so we there are there about 100 doctors here and they were all cooperating with me very well so the awareness is picking up and uh, the children who study from uh, various schools they carry the same point to their schools and colleges or medical college or engineering college so the next one is the e waste it could be a old laptop or it could be a old mobile phone or it could be a cable or it could be a Uh, a yeah, one out bulb tube light ordinary bulb so i thought of uh, develop, uh, develop connections with few volunteers who do this e waste collection and there is a factory who try to recycle rather what are cannibalize those for example yeah, the the computer they will separate the motherboard and some of the transistors no they try to use the parts which are usable there others they will all become continue to be a scrap then plastic bottle collection and um, is uh, what we started doing is the mystery bottle we used to tell the people do not crush them and throw keep them okay see whether you can cut it out and make a small uh, grow a small plant and uh, something like a medical waste like this uh, when you use this uh, medicines those strips uh, what is that plastic or uh, aluminum foil all those things now we used to cut and put it in the mystery bottle and we managed to collect about 40 50000 bottles and uh, we moved to a, re- a remote village and we started constructing a wall with that uh, plastic bottle uh, it's a plastic bottle wall which is more like a fence for a small hut okay so i found even that plastic bottle uh, which will not get uh, damage in the next few years started i found some usefulness for that educate i felt the india future like abdul kalam said is future is in the hands of children youth and college students so we state we started concentrating on educating the children and youth at home and schools colleges and um, we go to parks in the for a walk in the morning and uh, my volunteers come with they, they come come with a demo of uh, some composting kit and just we have a portable table okay we suddenly call all the people walkers there will be about 200 people and they used to listen peacefully and um, they talk to us how to do this uh, waste what do you do with that okay, what to do with the compost so we started doing that okay waste segregation classes and then the we started teaching gardening and uh, they used to ask immediately the next question where do i get the uh, ceramic pot or where do i get the grow bag where do i get the seeds where do i get the custard compost and so on okay so the ultimately i found the places where people come in mass okay okay they uh, come in uh, parks and then let us take a marriage hall also so i used to i used to tell the i used to tell the uh, marriage whoever is the parent of the bride or bridegroom if there is a music party or something give me 5 minutes on the microphone 
so that I take that uh, chance to educate the people, do not waste food, do not uh, uh, throw the mystery bottles, please reduce your waste. I saw so a lot of people I got connected with uh, in the marriages, through marriages, some of them used to take my mobile phones and then uh, some of them used to uh, message me in the email ID and so on. So I felt the only way to reach more people, we cannot cover all the 140 crores of India, but use the communication media like Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, or uh, emails and uh, uh, opportunities like parks, exhibitions, and uh, reach more people and convey the same objective, save water, rainwater harvesting, and so on. So what I did was uh, about, uh, I think it should be 2012, I created a group called Asirina Harikararu. This is basically, it says Green Messenger in Canada. And uh, one park where I used to walk in the morning is the Siddhapaji Park. It's about 10-15 uh, uh, acres. And in my area, there are about eight, nine parks. One park has lots of trees where uh, plenty of leaves will be falling. And uh, we used to collect them and then put them in the, uh, uh, what is that, uh, any any available bag or plastic bag. And then we take a lorry on hire, take them and then go to a nearby area where the trees are planted and use those leaves for mulching so that the entire heat is getting absorbed by those leaves. And when the rain, uh, when the, during rains, the leaves, they decompose and then become a good fertilizer for the trees. See, OBW is one Bangalore West Association, uh, Apartment Owners Association, where I am the president. And uh, it's uh, um, run by a committee of 11 people. And we educate the same thing. We have a, a room called OWC, Organic Waste Converter, where there is a shredder. I will show you all the photograph. And there are some tall boy composters about uh, 70, where the, uh, the compost is stored for some time. And the compost is given to people for gardening or used in our landscaping of the apartment. Then there is another group called uh, Asirina Arikararu Swayam Sevakaru. We help people in uh, developing the garden or in uh, conducting awareness. We give them all the necessary slides. Uh, we tell them, for example, a college uh, teacher may say, I would like to have a, conduct a class for my students. We help them with all the material and we get it back after the session is over. So another group is working on anti-plastic. We educate, please refuse plastic, do not take any plastic and so on. And uh, park adoption, we go to different parks. We try to main, we have volunteers about 40, 50 people. And then we try to clean the park, to plant some beautiful uh, uh, flower trees and then um, uh, if possible, if the water is not there, we used to carry uh, whatever, uh, maybe five liters or 10 liters of water, pour a bit of 500 ml water to all those plants. And uh, generally, all these parts, they have a huge budget, maybe 2 lakhs or 20 lakhs. We found that in Bangalore, they were not properly spent. So we are giving a helping hand for green development in the park. In fact, there is a park in Bangalore Contournement for one of the meetings, the, uh, the MLA allocated one portion of the park only for setting up a small garden for us and uh, it, it came out very well. And uh, so, as I told you, the team is a mixture of eminent doctors, professors and retired enthusiasts. See, many people um, started liking this, uh, teaching many people about the screen initiatives or uh, uh, gardening, composting, and uh, it, uh, they really, you know, virtually, they felt they, they, one way of relaxing is through teaching. And uh, another place where the, the, I took a class was is for the very terminally ill people where uh, they started growing good pollock and, uh, okay, so pollock and all those green vegetables and they started making nice salads by themselves. And we found that they become somewhat healthy. So uh, this was a, a message was given that, given by the doctor, and I felt very happy. So practice in the recent past. One minute. Huh?
the practices in the recent past walking to work so today what happened is people use two wheelers cars and so on and um, best is if it is couple of kilometers no you can use the opportunity uh, you, you can uh, take a walk or use a public transport why this no suppose if there are let us take a, com a company like infosys or wipro where i find that uh, many people uh, from the same area are taking different cars and going alone and then i suggest they i said why can't you create a whatsapp group and they started going in four four in one car and so on then afterwards the uh, bmtc introduced volvo buses and then see the people they, they started using the volvo buses so this is the way you know i felt that maybe about instead of 60 cars today one volvo buses carry the same people and the other advantage is the 60 indians the nice uh, computer professionals they started interacting with each other started knowing about each other some good practices were getting exchanged from one company to other company and so on why can't in those days uh, i think maybe in the year 1970 i used to cycle from a place called mailapur in chennai and then to gindijane college it's about should be about seven eight kilometers and all six of us used to go by cycle otherwise now we used to walk up to the water tank and then take a bus called 5b and go by bus okay later on after some time maybe fourth year or something we bought a two-wheeler but i always took uh, used to pick up another friend and uh, we both used to share the petrol and so the use of cycle virtually you know the once you start using that and uh, stop using the car the to that extent the pollution is uh, reduced and uh, particularly during the covid no i could see a lot of uh, mountains from my home where the same thing were not seen during the, the non covid period a world without mobile phones and digital equipments imagine okay uh, should be about i have never seen a computer till i entered my engineering college that was a very old uh, ibm 1401 i think it's a uh, where we used to punch cards and then put them. Okay. So then later on, this uh, Intel came with uh, 8086, 286, 386, and so on. And um, later on, the laptops came, then remote terminals came, and then uh, mobile phone came. Today, you know, everything is on uh, iPhone or uh, Android. And then so many TV, TV came later. I used to watch everything in black and white TV. And then today we have so many gadgets, so many companies like Sony selling so many of their products. And you know, what is the result of that? The last uh, five years, so much of e-waste is getting dumped. And uh, if you go to the person who is buying the scrap, he has uh, more uh, of e-waste than the newspaper and books and so on. Books all started coming in e-form. There is a e-book, even schools, I was told that uh, the digital, education is going to be uh, becoming popular in the next uh, couple of years and all schools will adapt to that and uh, the olden days if i had to go to a market then i used to carry a cloth bag which is maybe only a small bag to take the tomato and then there is a big bag to carry potato and onion that type of stuff so we always you will find that generally the people carrying one bag whenever they go out because on the way if they see something which is quite cheap, they can buy it and then come back and uh, uh, carry with that bag. And if you take the hotel, what happens uh, is we used to take one vessel, one bag, and then to take the parcel, the parcel, the idlis, vadas, and dosas will be packed in either plantain leaf, there is another uh, uh, plant leaf, which will be used for packing, and then small thread will be used for tying and then the, the used to be put in the cloth bag and there'll be a vessel to carry the sambar there'll be a vessel to carry chutney or if you don't carry sambar you they don't give you sambar you have to they pack that uh, chutney and then give you so, so the thing is uh, the problem is when you come back you have to wash all those vessels that's the only thing but the waste generated by carrying that hotel stuff gets composted in your home or by the corporation old cloths reused or gifted to needy so we used to collect old or particularly some of my old dresses whenever my relatives come from kerala karnataka and uh, to chennai 
and uh, any small shirt like terrilene or terricotta uh, 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 once it becomes tight to me will be carried to my cousin who will be a couple of years younger to me and he will pass it on to his mother and so on so we the old cloth is generally used till it becomes bad and even if it becomes bad for example a pant will be cut and then made as a uh, carry bag no food wastage at home there were no fridges those days we we try to cook as correctly as possible we finish them otherwise we they most probably the rice may be extra and that will be we used to put water and take them as next day as curd rice surplus food at temples now today uh see every temple started giving this prasadam and uh, okay and some in some temples they used to give one what is called as anadana and they used to give food and people sit on the table or floor and have a good food so the generally you find that because it's a free food people they dump in a hurry when there are thousands of pilgrims have to eat they serve very fast and you find lot of spoilage and then people also may not eat the sweet and throw or eat half of sweet and throw half sweet and all those uh, waste will be dumped in a place and which will attract lots of rats and to eat the rat there will be another snake and this way you know the the things go on um, so the only solution is uh, we used to tell all the temples that why can't you compose okay you decorate the god with so many garlands it could be roses or it could be jasmine please put them in a separate container there is something called a flower composter and you will all uh, definitely after maybe if you add a bit of microbe and a little water after about a month you get a excellent compost which can be used as a good manure so surplus food at temples marriages were distributed to the poor today after the marriage after the most of the people finish their dinner or lunch i found that a few orphanages with their vehicle they come and take the balanced food and it is distributed to the poor in fact i have even seen uh, directed many people to carry them near the railway station where a lot of people will be sleeping on the platform and uh, i have done that many times so all these things you need see the blessing of the politicians today the india is managed by our beloved uh, prime minister uh, narendra modi and then the state is uh, managed by the our sidaramaiya the chief minister and, and then he is helped by many mlas the you can see the photo mr mla suresh kumar he used to enjoy my organic tomatoes from my home and uh, i used to have with my team almost every month we are review meeting with him how best we can help me and uh, he is he himself is a gardener and uh, he has a farm where mangoes are grown and he used to take lot of tapes how to get rid of the pests and so on and he used to visit i used to tell him once a month you should come to one of the parks we should meet the people take their feedback that somebody will say hey, i didn't get other card they people share their grievances to him and used to solve them and so on so in the park what happens is that we as i told you we have a park called tree park where there are over about 700 trees very tall trees and shed lot of their dry leaves so what i suggested was we made a proposal that uh, to install a shredder so all those uh, leaves i told you that we used to carry in a lorry and dump them in a place where the trees are grown as a mulching media now today the installation of shredder and composter so the shredder what it does is maybe if there is a 10 kg of dry leaf it makes it about very close to 1 kg powder okay it is like you use a mixer or uh, something like no you have a cutting machine so the sizes of that leaves are reduced and then it is easily getting composted in the composters so the thing is it totally prevents the leaves getting burned by the people and, and otherwise there is no place because they expect the bbmp to take all those leaves and then dump them at some other place so they totally we have avoided the leaf burning and the leaves are getting converted into useful manure so there is a park called tree park and there is another park called uvc park and siddhapati park due to covid took a back seat i could not do many things because the there was total lockdown people could not uh, do much work but the leaves got uh, started piling up so we 
we had to really contribute everyone about 100 to 100 rupees we engaged some lorry and we took them to another place more it's not i won't say it's a forest where dumped all the leaves and through some microbes and water they started composting and also we the hasirna arikar room i became the members became consultant in various bodies like government and public sector companies and it companies and they started uh, particularly on saturday they started having devoting about an hour uh, on the green initiatives by the uh, employees so this is an example where the mla where all the people uh, are meeting the mla my volunteers are seen with a green shirt and uh, so you can see the greenery there and um, see the common issues faced by the people were conveyed to the mla and also it is became like a more like a grievance meeting so the same this is called a street ad, uh, street adoption where the, the mla works with our green volunteers and then meets the people door to door and uh, he may know couple of because his uh, mla will last 24 years here and um, he uh, you can even recall the name of that uh, resident and used to sometimes you now say how are you and you have any issues somebody may say there is a traffic you need a speed breaker or somebody may say you need to have a, a what is some tree so that there is a shade is available this is another park i felt as i told you my group meets only in parks every we fixed up every second saturday 4 pm shankarmat park every third saturday another park and so on where the people all meet and then we when the, the moment you see 40 50 people crowding other people started coming and then they asked uh, started inquiring what is happening they started joining our group this is a shredder where they one of my uh, mc member uh, where the secretary and assistant secretary this is a shredder which does an excellent job very fast shredder you dump some 10 kg in about a minute you will get 1 kg of uh, it could be a leaf or it could be a vegetable waste so what we do in all our apartments about um, Nine o'clock. Every apartment keeps their wet waste outside their apartment. Yeah, a housekeeping person goes to various floors. We have about thirty floors here, and then eight to eight thirty collects in the first round all the wet waste, and the all the wet waste will come here. And along with we have some dry material like coco peat and uh, dry leaves. They will be they will be mixed and then fed to this shredder, and they will be the resultant will be uh, stored in the composter. so this is an example a small composter on which i do it in my home is a plastic basically a plastic uh, bucket which is about 25 liters with lot of holes and uh, lid to close so that no cockroach and all will run this is called aerobic composting this is another on the left side you will see it is a product from a company called daily dump it's basically a mud pot where mud pot is somewhat porous and the composting aerobic composting happens very fast the below you have another uh, 150 liter drum where the similar principle it has a lid lot of holes uh, are made with a drill and the same wet waste is kept there and what we do is we add some uh, panchagavya or we add a bit of uh, cow dung slurry or the uh, sour buttermilk one spoon we add and become that becomes a micro and the entire vegetable waste gets composted so below you will see there is a place called uh, rmv second stage we call it as dollars colony where in a street this tall composter uh, is kept where yeah, about 10 to 15 streets vegetable waste is collected and then dumped here and then the bottom of that machine you get the compost so all you can see the photo of all the volunteers one of the big, where there is a, the the house behind that is a doctor's house he said i give my place i don't have any problem please install a composter here like that what you need is you need lot of composters at every point so that you no know, the wet waste collected from various houses can be dumped into the composter and uh, there is no need for a corporation lorry to come home collect them and then dump them to a remote village the another important point is today the next thing is the sustainability we used to go for more solar energy okay so the for example lot of common lighting in our uh, apartment is all through solar panels installed on top of our terrace 
there are about 227 panels and about uh, 65 uh, kilowatts of electricity is generated and there is a concept called uh, net metering okay so where we use bescom uh, minimum so that we use maximum solar power when um, bescom is not there this solar power becomes more like an emergency light the net metering garden lights implementation we also use this solar principle to put garden lights in a few parts and street lights a similar thing and there are some solar operated pump sets used by farmers and there are some solar power plant you can generate power uh, from your home say for about uh, maybe 5 kilowatt and supply to nearby uh, houses through the Bescom uh, uh, or whatever is that electricity board. See also this biogas can be used by for as a fuel you can there are some stoves available where the biogas generated can be used as a burner. So we started giving that to hostels where the vegetable waste used as a fuel and then the uh, as tau is used for cooking the hostel food. Many schools called, started calling us. So we used to do about one or two sessions per month in various schools about, uh, they have a big auditorium. And my team members, we talk about uh, rainwater harvesting and uh, composting and gardening. So there are some schools like sample schools, so the NPS Raja Jinagar, BGS World School, Purna Pregna, Himanshu, Basveshwara School, and the Polytechnic. There are some more, over about 300 institutions we have done. I don't have the complete list here. So this is an example. This is called as a seed ball. Basically, we tell the students during that note to make a seed ball. We carry some cow dung. We carry a seed. We make them do a seed ball. So what we used to do is, the, we used to tell them to carry the seed ball to, when you go on tour to another place and throw them on the uh, roadside so that now because of the rain or something, a tree will grow and you will find uh, many roads without trees will become trees after a few years. Children awareness. So we used to conduct children gardening shop where we get children below 15 years and educate them whichever way possible. We give them small saplings and they started growing trees. This is a place where is a temple where during Vaikuntha Ega they see about 40 50,000 people used to come from morning 6 or either 5 o'clock till night 11 o'clock. We used to take turns, explain to people the importance of uh, waste segregation, gardening, and composting. This is another club, a ladies club, where they do, they do a lot of uh, cracking jokes and all. We used to barge in there and we used to tell them about gardening, composting, and uh, rainwater harvesting. This is another resident welfare association where they took us by a nice car, gave us good lunch, and we told they asked us to talk about to all their residents the importance of gardening. So this is a simple apartment balcony here. Here I uh, used to grow brinjal, I used to grow tomatoes, and you can see the small curry leaves. This is good enough. Like that, I have four balconies where it may meet about 20% of uh, my vegetable needs and uh, advantage is all this 20% production is chemical free, fully organic production. This is a place, I think this article came in Better India and uh, in the Malayalam, Hindi, so many languages they were printed. Many people call me how to do this rainwater harvesting and uh, solar and uh, what I do, the entire rain water gets carried, uh, collected in this uh, uh, water tank, which is about 70 liters. And I have a pipe which goes from this for watering. If the water is about to overflow, I just open the tap so that the water from this tank gets collected in the ground and it is given back to the soil. E-waste solutions, old batteries, mobiles, bulbs, laptop, TV monitor, washing machine, other electronic, all are collected and given to an agency called Sahas E-Waste. And I also, I tied up with another person by name, Selvin, who collects e-waste and then sends it to various bodies. This is an example of the e-waste box at another place where people dump all their batteries. Even though it could be just two cells which you are using in your torch, they used to drop it here. So that is there in my apartment in various places. Most important thing is wedding. See, today, 
we start with an invitation printing some invitation by spending 50 rupees 100 rupees and uh, okay and after that event is over that uh, the invitation is wasted so i we started sending uh, telling people have a nice e invitation design it well and have a page in the youtube or something like that so that you can relay the marriage and we started educating people on conducting the zero waste wedding no mineral water plastic bottles this will be told very clearly to the uh, catering contractor not to use them and please use steel tumblers in fact i used to carry steel tumbler one plate and one spoon wherever i go i used to eat in the plate only and i used to wash them and bring them back it may look, look funny but most of my volunteers we used to carry them avoid plastic covers particularly when they give this tambulam okay they put some plastic cover and give it and uh, many people started using jute bags with uh, like a complimentary and then those juice jute bags or cloth bags are getting used and they, after washing the hands you instead of they providing a towel they started providing tissue paper you find mystery borders on tissue paper getting dumped everywhere contact marriages like in the earlier style earlier days okay where there will be a catering contractor used to come previous day cut the vegetables cook plantain leaf will be served there will be a stainless uh, steel tumbler will be carried one person will be pouring the water we should get back to those old thing after all the dinner the lunch and all is over that is fed to a cow or something which will eat along with the plantain leaf the leftover food so i have come to the last part of my session what you can do can do leaf composting if wherever possible aerobic composting there are different types of composting one is aerobic composting where uh, the air helps the wet waste to get decomposed in about 45 days the next composting is called vermi composting where you put the vegetable waste and uh, the earthworms they play a very important role in about 10 days you get a good vermi compost and uh, what we have found as a gardener is the vermi compost gets absorbed very fast and uh, by the plant and the aerobic compost takes it's a more like a slow nutrition bokashi composting is something promoted by japan and uh, this is another way where you dump everything in a closed container and then use the juice like a fertilizer for your plants and then they after about uh, uh, maybe about 15 days take that solid and do aerobic composting we also suggest you all can start growing plants at your home whether whatever be the place window walls or uh, walls between you and your neighboring house balcony and terrace there are some more technology called hydroponics where we make use of water uh, and then you can store uh, you need not have a uh, what is that ground in your home to grow vegetables you can go for hydroponics and some of you may have aquarium at home you can try even aquaponics where the plants are grown on top of the aquarium uh, fish water the the nutrition from the fish water is taken by the plants so the objective is we reduce carbon footprint and um, we should always reduce the reduce wastage it could be any form of wastage whether wastage of food or uh, wasting of any material useful material try to reuse like i told you can use the dresses we can give it to the orphanage or old age home blankets bed sheets and so on the can a bistari bottle can be cut and can it be used for growing a small plant if you go to a place if he is going to uh, pack your sambar in a plastic uh, container simply say refuse please you better i'll get a container use it it is easy for them to pack and keep it ready but let him take more time and use your container this is more hygienic and a waste reduction technique water is going to be very drinking water resource is very close to 3% now and uh, we have to conserve water see how best we can save water in terms of rain water harvesting okay and then with this for the future for example how to save water while cleaning the tank we leave the tap open and uh, we brush the tank water will go on pouring use a mug bath in minimum water maybe about a bucket of water or two buckets 
and then make otherwise don't some people used to put the shower particularly as an example my son goes to the three takes about half an hour i don't know how many liters of water is getting wasted waste water for plants for example you wash your rice you uh, wash your grinding machine with water all those water contains lot of nutrition use them for plants the same way washing machine water okay because of the chemicals and all if it is diverted to a tree like coconut tree there is no problem but you cannot use them for the plants the same way rwo water like kent and all they waste lot of water they can be used in every apartment there is what is called as a sewage treatment plant so what happens is all the water in the toilet bathroom it gets treated and they are recycled back to the bathroom so virtually we use very we add very less water every day and uh, the water consumption by the residents are you know, reduced to the tune of 30 40% and we collect this rain water into a tank and we have about 1200 cars here and car washing is done by by the rain water so i would like to stop here if there are any questions i i would like to take them up uh, thank you sir that was a well rounded uh, talk we have connected all the dots of sustainability right from composting age old techniques of on how to cut down plastics uh, seed balls e waste collection and so on and so forth uh, so we have a couple of questions here from professor indumathi uh, uh, unfortunately she has to drop this call for another meeting uh, one question is who is the supplier of large scale community composters uh, there are about uh, if you google you will get something like arbin composter there is a, some small size daily dump is there and they are all about uh, should be good for communities there are many uh, um, agents in uh, they are all uh, available in uh, almost most parts of india you just yeah. say or, organic composter you'll get a big list find out somebody whoever is nearby but these are the popular ones have you tried any one of them uh, at your community yeah yeah, yeah. arbin composter i have the one i showed you is an arbin composter it's a bangalore based company okay Yeah. yeah and the other question my has... my suggestion is you should if you are going it is something like whether you want to do composting at home level or community level if it is managed with a even simple plastic bucket with holes or you can buy a daily dump kamba okay there is a site called daily dump where you can mm -hmm. all these products are delivered through amazon and other eight channels so you can buy them and start composting in your balcony other you can go for yeah if it is for a street level you can go for arbin composter or some other composter okay uh, and the other question she has was distribution of leftover uh, food from hostels are not permitted due to fa fssai regulations due to doubts on food quality uh, how are you doing with uh, the food waste from Uh, marriage halls and other occasions yeah, yeah. see we, we near the chowtry there is a chowtry most of them they have this composters now so they buy this coco peat from the market and they compost in the chowtry itself all the leftover food okay not the leftover food the waste waste mm -hmm. waste food mm -hmm. okay the other question i had on my mind was uh, many of the municipalities follow the same rule of uh, uh, source segregation door to door collection but they are not able to meet the standards yeah uh, so how are you able to meet these standards with the large communities following up with how do you ensure Sure that they source segregate everything, yeah. pinpoint yeah. all of them. See, the the My waste internet. is segregated as wet waste, dry waste, e waste, and then sanitary or medical waste. We have got different covers. The yellow cover, which people have to buy, which is about two rupees, where they put diapers, sanitary pads, and the medical leftover medicines, and the yellow cover. is given to an agency for incineration okay and uh, wet 
is clear two times and it is going to our composter. Dry waste will be collected on alternate days. We have a big bag given to every house and then we collect all the dry waste, sort them out and there is a waste vendor who comes and picks up all this waste at a price and that is a revenue to the association. That is the way dry waste. E-waste happens once a month where we have a big box and there is an agency called Sahas. They come in their uh, uh, three-wheeler, I mean the, the tempo traveler or whatever is that and uh, they are collected, they measure and they give a certificate to 150 kg or 200 kg. And they, so this is the way all the four types of waste are uh, getting moved to the respective areas. Either it is composted or, give, or given to a dry waste collector or given to a e-waste collector or a company which is doing incineration. So all the four are taken care. Um, how and one does more this thing. Work? Now one more thing. See, we, what you do if there is any problem with an apartment, if they start waste, one of the senior members will go and tell them, please, they will say, if you do like this, we will not collect the waste. Then you take care of your own way of disposing the waste. So we are sometimes we used to tell them through a soft copy, the following apartments has to cooperate in waste segregation. So virtually it became zero. It took about four to six months to stabilize but it has now stabilized 100%. Yeah, good to hear that, sir. The other question I had on mind was you were saying you uh, you were generating some income by selling off the dry waste that is collected. Uh, how, yeah. this, how does this model work? Are you able to make profit from it or is it sustainable enough to uh, manage the whole waste collection and sorting process? No, the investment of the composters and all, no? The, the, for example, the compost today, a good compost is sold at 25 rupees per kg in the market. Okay. So in, we, our bag is about 10 kg. We used to sell at 100 rupees. So every month we used to get about 20,000 rupees as return. And we uh, spend that money in terms of disposing the medical waste. And once again, the dry waste, we get some income. It is not like a profit and loss uh, type of thing. But we, our sincere attempt to for a sustainable living, we don't want waste to go to a dumping yard. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I have a follow-up question for that. So yeah. who are uh, the buyers of this compost you are making in this era of Amazon, Flipkart? No, 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 not that type of thing. See, there are so many people, nearby gardeners, they all know, uh, they all take this compost. For mm -hmm. example, if you see my car uh, dicky, there will be uh, five bags of compost always. So when I go to our travel, I tell them through WhatsApp, I'm coming there. They pick it up from me. Because basic thing is they can't come, they can't spend, they can't carry in an auto. Mm -hmm. So they have to spend for that. So I will see that it is reached at their some without, when I have some work area. Okay. Otherwise, no, they use a tempo where the, all the bags are dumped. It goes to a park where all gardeners, as I told you, you know, they meet in the second week or third week. So they collect the, all the composting material or they buy cocoa peat. All the vendors come to that park on that day. One, one uh, vendor sells the panchagavya, which is a manual for the plants. So they all make good business on that day. Mm -hmm. I, I think I had a, a valuable takeaway from this session. Uh, I hope the rest of us enjoyed the session too. Sudha, do you have any questions for uh, yeah. Doctor? Yeah, I had uh, yeah. two, email ID two from questions. Sudha. Yeah. yeah. Sir, it was wonderful talk and uh, I I hope your, your webinar will uh, inspire many societies and welfare associations to take up such initiatives. Actually, we found very creative and new ways like I have heard of uh, welfare associations taking up uh, environmental uh, management things within the society, but uh, your uh, your new initiatives were like going to parks, adopting parks, and then uh, you you are meeting in each and every park, and uh, and you are spending time in uh, creating awareness through which you know uh, your it's your environmental. Uh, Sustainable ways are not restricting to only your association. You are trying to spread it across. That's a very yes. uh, creative, Correct. creative that initiative. Actually, this is the first time I have come across such such initiative. 
like street adoption park adoption and you are going to temples during the festivals and while distributing the prasadam you are uh, you are making them aware of environmental uh, things and reduction of waste yeah yeah, yeah. you are, you are uh, so these yeah, one, are one these, these are some yeah. of the right see I, these are some of the actually yeah. religious uh, right 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 these are some of the unique i mean i have never come across such uh, new ideas of creating awareness actually. yeah correct that's uh, that's, that, that's very those were very interesting for me and then um, i i just had one uh, one question or two questions rather interlinked what were the challenges you faced when in the initial stages like you said uh, uh, you have started after your retirement in your uh, in your apartment thing you have started it right what were the challenges you faced like if if i have to or bindu or someone who is watching yeah see first thing is there they always the reluctance to change if you are using bistari bottle uh, it could be composting or it could be gardening when i can get the market from the amazon's fresh vegetables okay which are about 7 days old why i should do gardening okay so like that the reluctance to change is the first uh, resistance i had number 2 the money involved in the investment for example if i have, i buy vegetables for example tomato maybe 10 rupees per kg but to develop uh, the, the maybe i need about 5 pots or uh, 10 grow bags to get the tomato on a continuous basis i have to spend maybe about 500 rupees so people were not prepared to make that investment financial constraints and then uh, other one constraint i have no time i am a working person i cannot uh, do composting i just dump them on the road or i just leave them out let somebody take it this is the basic time money and then reluctance to change Hello. am i clear yes sir yes sir yes sir so, so i tell slowly... you my yeah see i don't have place see you have a simple uh, uh, hydroponic setup you can grow a couple of plants at home you know so like anything is possible so if you are able to live in a small house which may be 500 square foot the same family can live in a house with 5000 square foot also so but we should have uh, yeah which that objectives of all whatever you are going to have in 5000 square foot if you are able to achieve in 500 square foot it is very great yeah right right sir uh, i think yeah this i have a question one second sir we have a question from yeah. the audience who founded the who funded the purchase and installation of the shredder is it for only one society or the entire uh, lane no so see the, for example in the park in the park it is funded by the government okay and uh, in this society it's our we pay a what is called as a uh, common area maintenance where every month we pay some charge that money is used for buying stuff. is it clear yes sir yes sir uh... but government every government no they have some budget for parks and uh, uh, what is that uh, uh, solid waste management like you have a yeah. professor there is a solid wa- waste management group in every corporation they particularly a city a place like indore they have gone high they are the first people who do composting maybe about 10 15 years before like that every city has uh, become very aware of, of this green initiative okay sir okay. so i take this opportunity to thank all of you okay yes sir keep in touch uh, yes sir thanks a lot for sharing your uh, experiences yeah. for our uh, for our audience and then it was a great uh, session for us educative and informative thank you so much, thank you so much for joining thank you so much, thank thank you so much everybody who has joined the webinar uh, just a second yeah uh, sir if any of our audience would like to reach out to you for uh, any assistance may i know what what is the channel that you would prefer i prefer email 
Okay. Okay. Um, I'll message the. So the I can communicate to all of you the uh, email address of uh, Sri Ramakrishnan. Over so subject you can you can put sustainability. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so God much. bless. Thank you.